Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. In today's video we are doing an arms, back and abs workout. So toning the arms and the upper back, strengthening the core. So you're going to need some dumbbells and a roller as you can see. But to be honest, you could actually do this without both. And I will explain to you how to do so as we go along. You can grab some bottles if you prefer um, instead of dumbbells. But either way, we're going to get straight into the workout. The first move that we're going to do will be these rollouts. So really working the core, the arms and the shoulders. We're going to roll out, ready and go. If you don't have a roller, you can simply walk out with your hands, putting your hands as far ahead of you as you can and then walking your hands back towards your body. So walking your hands along the mat. Either way, I want you to try and get your body as close to the floor as you possibly can. So literally trying to just like smell the mat just just give it a quick whiff <laughs> before you roll back up it takes a lot of control it's a tough movement so don't worry if you can't go all the way out that's okay you get stronger with each try with each turn just keep working on it you can pop a cushion and your knees if you need to and rest well done next move we're going to do will be press and raise so doing push-ups press-ups whatever you want to call them and then raising one arm and then doing another press up and raising the other arm and um, if you don't have dumbbells that's okay you can just raise the arm without them or you can use bottles or a can of beans whatever you want ready and go i'm using two kg dumbbells by the way if you want to make this a little bit harder, um, simply pivot at your feet, so do a full press up instead of bending at the knees. Um, if you want to make this a little bit easier, you can just skip out on the arm raise or skip out on the press ups and just do the arm raise. So really feel free you guys to customise these workouts to whatever suits you, okay? I know we're all at different places places yeah different places in our fitness journey so whatever suits you don't worry I, I support you in that as long as it's like safe and you know good form and stuff and um, but yeah keep going just a few more and relax well done next move we're gonna do some under and overs so you can use a dumbbell or the roller for this or literally nothing at all it does not matter we're just gonna pass the object under and over the knee as the knees alternate coming into the chest it's quite a soothing movement ready and go i say soothing it's actually low-key hard but i just like the fact that you're making like the infinity sign and it's just so seamlessly continuous but yeah you want to keep the chest up off the floor shoulders nice and low not hunching the neck and you just want to keep the legs moving through the air now if you find this too difficult that's okay it's literally a moving v-set what you can do is keep the legs on the floor so actually feet on the floor and still bringing the knees towards you but like the, the bulk of the weight of your legs is actually through the feet on the floor and um, otherwise i want you to keep those legs up off the mat and only your bottoms should be touching the mat as you pass the little roller under and over and rest well done amazing next we're going to do some lying pull downs so lying face down on the mat grabbing the dumbbells we're going to pull the weight down to the side and the other side lifting the chest just a little bit so you're hovering above the mat ready and go so lift up a little and alternating we're really going to pull down so imagine you're actually doing pull down so you want to really squeeze the back intentionally squeeze the shoulders as you pull the weight down you want to just keep that weight hovering above the mat so i don't want it dragging along the mat okay we do actually want to lift it up off the floor as we pull down alternating each arm as we go doing really well chest just hovering just above the mat Keeping the core nice and tight. A few more. And rest, well done. Next move we're gonna do will be some Russian twists. Absolute classic move, love this move. It's a little bit tough. Um, I'm using the roller. You can use just your hands or the dumbbell. Ready and go. So feet up off the mat, shoulders nice and high, twisting from side to side. You want to get a full twist, as though you're trying to wring the air out of the lungs like a sponge or something. And you want to twist all the way. If this is tough, that's okay. Just put those feet down on the mat. 
put the feet down on the mat and still do the twisting movement. If you want more of a challenge, you can actually straighten out the legs if you can. Um, but if not, if you're somewhere in the middle, just try and push through with these classic Russian twists. Try and keep the shoulders low. We don't want shoulders for earrings. Just keep moving through it. You're doing so well, you guys, nearly there. And relax for 20 seconds, well done. Next, we're going on for some side plank pull downs. So really working the obliques, really working both arms with this, keeping good form. I'm using the dumbbells for this, but again, you can totally do it without the weight. Ready and go. So reaching overhead and pulling down towards the side reaching overhead pulling down you want to make sure that your body is in a straight line from shoulder to hip to foot to your ankle okay so you want that those hips lifted up i don't want your hips dropping towards the mat we're really engaging the obliques really engaging the core so that elbow that's on the floor is below the shoulder and then the arm up above you're really reaching up over the head and then pulling down as you go well done, this is a tough movement. If you find it too tough with the arm movement, that's okay, just hold the side plank. You can bend at the knees if you need to. And rest, well done. And we're gonna do the same thing, but on the other side. So if you find this tough, that's okay. You can bend at the knees and just hold like a side half plank. And you don't have to do the above arm movement either. Again, just customizing your workout, ready and go. If you want to make it even more tough, you can actually bring that top leg, that top leg, you can bring the knee to the chest as you pull the arm down. But that's just going to uh, make you really have to work on your balance. But either way, we're pushing through. You're doing so, so well, so keep going. Reaching overhead, pulling down. Reaching overhead, pulling down. Checking your posture. If you start to wobble, that's okay. Just, just, uh, just realign yourself. This is not that song. What's that song that's like... Wobble, wobble, wobble. I feel like that's a Jason Drew song. Anyway, keep going. We're not wobbling. We're keeping nice, good form. And rest. Well done. Absolutely smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. So next we're doing some bent over flies. So we're going to stand up. Stand up, grab the dumbbells and uh, bring the arms out to the side, keeping a slight bend in the arm. Oh, hello, there she is. There she is, boys. Ready and go. So bring the arms out to the side, keeping a slight bend in the arms. Um, so I've pushed my hips back. I'm just lifting the weights through the whole range of motion. So come together in front of me, out to the side, like wings, I'm like a bird. I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. Oh, Nelly Furtado, how is she doing? How are you, Nelly, if you're watching this? I hope you're well. Thank you for all that you did for my childhood. Anyway, keep going. This exercise is low-key hard. Like, even if you do this without weights, it still burns. I don't get it. Like, when will these muscles get stronger, Sarah? Because it still always hurts every time. And rest. Well done. We've done that. I'm sorry for singing at you just then. I literally, I do these voiceovers in one take. <laughs> Oh, I should really go back and change stuff, but do you know what? I just think, I just think it is what it is. We're doing the workout, we're having a chat. Sit-ups are next, ready and go. <laughs> so sitting all the way up, using the roller is more as a point of reference and what it really does is it just reminds you to keep nice and tall so we're bringing that chest up. We're not like hunching in towards the knees like a little, like a little schnookum all hunched up and you know, golem in the corner. No, the chest is open. Head is raised. No shame in this game. We're sitting all the way up, really controlling the movement down. So I don't want you to fall down as though someone's just knocked you back down, Kerry Hilson, and they knock you down. I don't know why I'm doing all these <laughs> old song references. But you actually want to lower back down to the mat, vertebrae by vertebrae. And a rest. Amazing. Next, we're doing foot rollouts, which are just the best. They're so cool. I love this movement. 
I like to think I made it up, but I'm sure someone has done it once before. You know, maybe, maybe, who knows? But I really like it. It's just something I started doing and it's so, so good. So you're basically sitting up, leaning back a bit with your upper body and rolling out and go. So you want your feet on either side of the roller and you're just gonna try and control that movement. So just roll out the roller and bring it back. Roll it out, bring it back, keep the neck nice and long, chest up, elbows open. They'll be temp it'll be tempting to bring them in and, and I'm giving into that temptation as you can see, but try not. Keep the elbows nice and wide so you control that movement with the core. If you don't have a roller, again, that's okay. You can just tap your ankles towards your bottom and then back away from them, okay? So keep going, keep moving. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Just adjust. That is what the core is there for. It is there to keep you balanced and stable and rest well done um yeah then we're doing some planks so classic classic old plank um you can again bend at the knees if you need to and um, so coming down into the plank position ready to go and go so elbows below your shoulders a nice good posture so I don't want your bum sticking up in the air and I don't want it dropping down towards the mat find that good posture that neutral spine position as we hold the plank again if you want a challenge you can try and lift each limb one at a time so you lift the right arm put it back down lift the left arm put it back down left leg put it back down right leg put it back down if not just keep holding just eight more seconds doing really well doing so well you guys and rest well done cool we're halfway through halfway through the workout going back in for some more rollouts okay so grabbing the roller and rolling it down down the mat and back up it's like ironing except like Actually, to be fair, ironing is pretty hard sometimes, especially when you've got like big sheets, bed sheets. It's pretty stressed. And go. Rolling out. So what I was gonna say was it's like ironing, but harder, but actually. Yeah, it depends on what you're ironing. Anyway, we're rolling it out. Like we're ironing out the mat and we're bringing it back in. Again, if you don't have a roller, walk it out. Try and go as far as you can. Try and literally just hold your upper body and your thighs in a straight line over the mat and just feel that tension. If you can't get all the way, that's okay. Go as far as you can and then come back. Go a little bit further next time because we're getting stronger. That's what this is all about. It's not about being perfect the first time. Like no one is born doing these things perfectly. We learn and yeah, that's awesome. Rest, well done. Well done. Um, next thing we're gonna do are some press and raise. Press ups with a, ri a raising, rising arm. Um, yeah, I just really want to reiterate that as well, you guys. Like, anytime you do a workout and it's hard, that's okay. That's literally okay. Ready and go. Um, so pressing down, doing a press up rather, and then alternating each arm lift with the dumbbells. You can do full body press ups. Um, yeah, sometimes I think there's a real temptation when we're working out to beat ourselves up and say, oh, I can't do this, they can do that, and, and just be mean to ourselves. And no, absolutely not. That is not a place where success thrives. Success thrives in kind environments where we encourage ourselves and we celebrate the little that we do and we just allow ourselves to be consistent and to learn and to fail, to fail forward. Like failure is a huge part of success and you, you can't succeed while avoiding failure. You've really just got to go all in um, and rest. Yeah, so well done for going all in on this workout. I'm really proud of you. Okay, we're gonna do some under overs next. Um, so passing that roller, under and over the leg as we alternate the knees into the chest, keeping the legs up off the floor or lowering them down if you need to and rest and go rather. Sorry, false news, fake news. Keep going. Keep going with that infinity sign as you go over and under and under and over. And I guess it goes over and under at the same time, doesn't it? Oh, do you look at that? Did not think of that. That is some smooth mechanics. All right, keeping the chest up, moving through. You're doing so, so well. Keep going. Shoulders low, nice long neck, good posture. Just keep it moving, keep it moving. You can do it, just a few more. Doing so well, absolutely smashing it. And rest, well done, well done. Then we're doing some lying pull downs. 
the lion on the floor a nice little rest except it is not because uh, <laughs> because we're working through it so it's almost like you're having a nap on the floor but then your arms are just still still kind of and go so pulling down intentional you've got to be intentional about this you guys you can show so well that mind to muscle connection is key so really squeezing remember the chest is lifted up just a little bit just a little bit up off the mat I don't want you like you know suffocating with your face pressed into the mat so chest lifted up and just pulling down alternating each arm as you go squeezing at the bottom keep going keep moving through it the weights are coming up off the floor okay I don't want you dragging them down they're coming up off the floor moving through the air as you squeeze the elbows into the body and rest and then next we're going to do some side plank pull downs working the obliques and go Just bringing the weight over the head and pulling it down into the body tucking the elbow into the body making sure that the hips stay up so we're keeping good plank form elbow under shoulder the hips are up off the mat and the only points of contact of your body in the mat are your forearm and the outside of your foot doing really well just a few more keep moving keep breathing through it don't let the hips fall back rest as we switch on to the other side so sometimes there's a temptation to let your top hip roll backwards try not to let that happen okay if you notice that happening just checkpoint checkpoint get control get a good posture get back into it ready and go hips nice and high elbow below shoulder nice straight line in the body it's almost like if you tipped your head sideways i would just be standing up straight that's the kind of posture you want to go for you don't want the hips sagging or tipping and we're just really working those obliques really working that arm being intentional again with the mind to muscle squeeze as we pull the elbow into the body so as though we're just pulling down pulling that weight down imagine there's like a rope attached to it or like a chain and you're just pulling that that chain down and rest well done nearly there we're doing some Russian twists so grabbing the roller or the weight if you prefer feet up off the mat twisting from side to side ready and go so twist from side to side chest lifted keep moving through making sure you're touching the the roller to each side getting a full range of motion if you do need to lower your legs that's totally okay but try and keep them lifted up off the mat you're doing so so well we're nearly there really push through you might feel like you need to slow down but try not to stop you can do it i believe in you you've got this And rest well done next we're coming in to the plank so onto all fours but like your feet and stuff you need yeah onto all fours we're coming down into the plank position we're just gonna hold that plank go again if you need to make it a little bit easier I say easier but you know it's still a workout it's still tough but you can bend at the knees just so you're carrying a little less body weight there but either way you want to keep that good posture elbows below shoulders making sure the core is engaged you can readjust and just find that good strong position you're doing so so well just a few more keep holding and rest well done it's really good 
next we're going to do some bent over flies as I come right up into your face to adjust the camera. <laughs> um, so picking up the dumbbells, ready and go. So hips back behind you, slight bell bend in the elbow as we open up the arms so we're flying, lifting them all the way up, squeezing at the top. Keep going, I'm just showing you from a slightly different angle so you can see how high up my arms are getting. And it is a tiring exercise, even when you've got tiny weights or relatively small weights, like it still just gets you, doesn't it? You know, is it just me? This one just gets me. But keep moving, try and keep getting that full range of motion. I don't want your arms getting lazy, I want them all the way up. Be that bird, make Nelly proud. And rest, well done. Then we're gonna finish off with some sit-ups. So grabbing the roller, you can grab a weight if you want to, or you can grab absolutely nothing. It's more of a point of reference to remind us to have a good form with these sit-ups. Ready and go. So we're doing a little bit extended here. We're doing 53 seconds instead of 40. And we're just gonna come all the way up. So roller behind the head, coming all the way up, lowering the body back down. I don't want you just falling back onto the mat. And I know it's hard when you're at the end of the workout, it's like, nah, you just wanna drop it down. But no, this is part of the work as well. Really lowering the body back down, sitting back up nice and tall, chest coming all the way up. You're doing so, so well, nearly there. Keep going, keep pushing. This is how we get stronger. And this is how we prove to ourselves that you can do it. You can do what you put your mind to. Like you are really, really capable. So, so capable. Nearly there, five more seconds. And rest, well done you guys, you did it. You completed the workout, I'm so proud of you. I hope you're proud of you too. Uh, let me know how you found it, leave me a comment and I will see you in my next video. Love you so much guys, bye.